It is fast and dangerous and police are cracking down. Good Monday evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Priscilla Casper. Sean and Amanda have the night off. The News 4 Tucson investigators have been looking into street racing across southern Arizona for more than a year. After requesting data from police for months, Chorus Nylander has those numbers tonight and how it affects driver safety on our roads in tonight's investigation. In April, the News 4 Tucson investigators asked Tucson police for a month to month breakdown of how many street racing incidents are being reported and any enforcement carried out. It took nearly eight months to get the information. 911, what is the location of the emergency? We have seen how deadly street racing can be. It was serious. I mean, it was, I, I knew pretty instantly that this individual wasn't going to make it. The end of April, an innocent driver making a left turn named Timothy Tangler was killed after a violent collision with a pickup truck. Multiple witness statements to police say the truck was street racing. Robert Mills tried helping Tangler. They, they drive fast and without thinking of the consequences of what could possibly happen. Nearly eight months later, still no one has been charged, even after one of the drivers admitted street racing, according to police reports. We regularly ask Tucson police why. We've asked the county attorney's office. No word on if or when charges may be filed. Immediately after the crash, the News 4 Tucson investigators made a records request with the Tucson Police Department for numbers on how many street racing incidents they have been seeing and what enforcement actions have been taken. We just received the numbers this month. The data given to us is from November 2019 to October 31st of this year. In that time frame, a total of 14... After a News 4 Tucson investigation last year, the Tucson Police Department began a special enforcement against street racing in January. Our department will be using a number of methods to attack this problem. According to the data, there was never more than 13 citations issued for street racing in 2020. But after the special enforcement, there were 34 issued in January this year, 25 in February, 23 in March, 15 in April, 22 in May. That dropped to four in June and hasn't gone up. Days. A, a fine alone is not going to get these guys' attention. Officer David Fritch believes that is the best deterrent. A lot of these people that we encounter, they don't care about what they're doing. They don't care if they get a slap on the wrist with a misdemeanor charge. The one way we can prevent this from happening again is we're going to take away your car. In July, a state law was passed, increasing enforcement against street racing and giving local law enforcement more authority to impound vehicles involved. Investigating for you, of course, Snylander, News 4 Tucson.